Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Siraz TV. Uh, today I am going to be casting a, Jin a Jinro versus TLO game. And for those of you who are watching my stream, I have been casting a number of Jinro games recently. So uh, this is one of my favorite. I'm going to upload a couple more of my favorite Jinro games that I did cast. But this one is pretty good. Uh, it is a Zerg versus Terran on Metalopolis. And TLO is spawning at the 12 o'clock position. And down here we have Jinro spawning in the 9 o'clock position. And I have seen this game before, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it because I don't want to spoil it. And at the same time, um, I did get a comment about uh, kind of like predicting things on a game that I've already seen. And yeah, maybe I was being a little tricky. I don't know. I just wanted to still make the game um, as exciting as possible for you guys and maybe just throw you off a little bit or whatever. But uh, I, the person really didn't like that, so I'm not going to... Uh, not going to do that this game. Um, but if we check out the APM tab, their APM is actually kind of slacking this game. I think that's mainly just because they are talking. Uh, they both are Liquid members. Or members of Team Liquid. And, um, they're just being friendly. I mean, they know each other. Um, or whatever, both of them. Good very strong European players. TLO is obviously very well known and one of the best in the world. And Jinro is uh, no slouch himself. So if we check out the production tab, nothing nothing too crazy yet. Uh, Jinro is doing that standard build where you go the 10 supply, 12 rats, 13 or, uh, refinery, 15 orbital command. There we go. And at the same time, TLO's spawning pool just comes up. We'll have to see. He do looks like he is going to make a couple lings. We'll have to see what he does with that. Um, only making two makes me think he might just use them to kind of scout at this point. Um, if he wanted to do some sort of attack. Well, we'll have to see. He might uh, wait. Yeah, and I said I wasn't going to make any predictions. And there we go. I almost like can't help myself. But uh, I don't even remember what he does with these two links, honestly. <laughs> Looks like he's going to pick off this SCV. And uh, a drone was in Jinro's base. I don't think he saw this tech lab going up, though. Whoa, crazy. I just uh, zoomed out across the whole map. I don't know what key that is. But uh, that's not even what I want to do. Yeah, I didn't even get far enough to see uh, this barracks. And the tech lab is coming up. So it looks like Reapers are on the way for Jinro. But at the same time, TLO does have this Roach worn up. And Roaches are very strong against Reapers. Uh, very hard for a Reaper to kill a Roach. And oh, look at SCV still running from the uh, poor Zergling. I don't know if any of you guys have played um, that build order, or what is that game called? The Micro Trainer, whatever, where you have to run away your probe from that. Zergling <laughs> while doing other actions. And poor SCV finally gets taken out. But the first Reaper is on his way. Here he is. We'll have to see what sort of damage Jinro can do with this Reaper. It looks like a couple of roaches are out, however. And that's going to put a damper on it. Any fun the Reaper can have. Like I said, uh, Reapers only do 6 damage uh, to, to a roach. And it's just really hard for, like I said, really hard for Reapers to kill a Roach under any circumstance. The only advantage they do have is they are longer range. And I guess if you, um, if you microed really well, you could probably kill a Roach eventually, but hard to do. And here we go, looks like a Reaper. Oh, poor Reaper. It does go down. Um, and Jinro just trying to block off. And we'll have to see if he can defend this. Uh, Marines do have a longer range then roaches, so if he goes kind of back and forth like he's doing, uh, he should be able to defend it. Doesn't want to lose that marine though, oh, yep, there we go, doesn't lose the marine. Looks like this poor SCV is going to go down though. And Jinro, or TLO, just deciding it's not worth it to screw around, um, trying to snipe off units when they come forward, is going to decide to back up. Now back at TLO's base. We do have a number of links coming out, as well as speed upgrade, and he does have his expansion up. 
So we'll have to see if Jinro, does Jinro know about that? Jinro does know about the expansion, so we'll have to see what he does to deal with it. And we check out the harvester count, still basically equal. Jinro down by one harvester, nah, not a big deal. Um, it's kind of expected when playing as a regular harvester count, it just goes up and down, kind of like a cyclic pattern whenever they decide to drone pump or not. And looks, Jinro does have this command center up of his own, and he wants to use it to expand, trying to get out a bunker here, but does not look like it's going to happen, and Jinro is salvaging it, but uh, he's going to get that salvage off, so not a big loss by any means. But still not able to um, hold this lower position, trying to do a little bit of a um, little bit of harass on these speedlings, but a poor Reaper does decide to go the wrong way and does get picked off. Here we go, looks like a little more harass is coming up. Reaper is just using uh, this cliff as well as their range advantage over both these units to do what they can. And a poor Roach goes down to a couple Marauder, uh, Marauder grenades. But at the same time, TLO, look at this, he is taking the gold expansion and Jinro does not know about this yet. He needs to scout this and he needs to do something to stop it. And now he is finally taking uh, his expansion, moving out with his command center little fight going on. These Reapers do kill Lings really quickly, but oh no, they are going to get surrounded. That's exactly what you don't want to happen, and they are going to go down. But looks like TLO just uh, can't get up here quick enough to deal with this sort of army, and just backs up a little bit. Uh, I mean, these units do have a longer range and can shoot over this ledge pretty easily. And we're going to have to see what Jinro does, popping a single Reaper in there. Looks like Mule might go down. Nope, not going for Mule. Oh, is he going to go for the Mule? No, Mule does get away. Does get away to dance another day. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that Mule dancing video, but it was pretty good um, for that Blizzard contest. But um, Mule does get away. Jinro just continuing to pump uh, SCVs at this point, but he is pretty far behind now. Uh, he was not pumping from both these um, command centers for a while. Especially during that attack, just uh, wanting to make sure his base was safe and focusing all of his attention on that. But if we look at TLO's base, he does have this third expansion up and he is starting to transfer some workers. And he is way ahead on the worker count. So Jinro needs to do something to get back into this game, at least economically. Um, I do not believe... Yeah, okay, so he does finally know about this uh, with this Reaper poking in here. Nice uh, idea to go to go uh, put that next to the Zelnaga Tower to see this. And now killing a number of drones. Looks like he got three or four before he did go down. The Reaper was definitely worth uh, his cost. And Jinro does basically have this base here now. Um, a couple bunkers up. Maybe he needs a one more bunker over here to make sure uh, these refiners don't get sniped. But for the most part, he's in a good position. Even getting some Zerglings to come in and die. Nice, uh, nice idea there by Jinro. And Tilo, I mean, he, he's good, but he can't be everywhere on the map at once. Just not going to happen. And there is a queen down here. Um, kind of odd. Not 100% sure why the queen is here. Maybe to stop Reapers or something? I don't know. Or maybe just a misclick. No, it doesn't... I mean, I don't think Tilo knows he's here. I could be completely wrong. And layer tech uh, is up with the Hydra Den, so we will see a couple Hydras on the way if we check the production tab. It looks like we do a couple Hydras were on the way. Do we have any Hydras here yet? None uh, finished, however. And an infestation pit going up. Uh, TLO. Um, what was I going to say? has had some success with Ultralis against Terran, mainly against the mech armies that uh, Zerg players are having so much trouble with. We'll have to see um, if it works well against this bio, or if he does something similar against